Hi, I am currently trying to get you guys set up here. Um, okay, so I have not, I haven't vlogged in a little bit, this time being because my camera broke. <laughs> for vlogging for a long time, I was using my iPhone. I'll, I'll even show you right here. <laughs> so this was a phone that I was using. Now it technically still turns on, but <laughs> it's at the point now of where it only stays on if it's plugged in and then the plug is so finicky that like even if i move or something it'll like turn off again so it's been incredibly difficult to work with i can barely do anything on here uh and then i had my android which is just like my phone phone but it's so slow because it's such an old phone I'm using a GoPro, which is probably what we're gonna end up using from for vlogging from here on out anyway But the thing is is that I have been so I still am a ship shopper full-time I have actually been trying to find another job only because um, The hours are extremely inconsistent like I don't really know what I'm gonna bring home every week It depends on how many orders I get what the weather is what the weather is like uh, how well people tip so it's extremely difficult to rely on something like that so we actually have hunter back in daycare because he's gonna be starting school next year I didn't want him at a daycare so long that it was gonna be a challenge to put him back when he starts uh, first grade I'm sorry I'm so insecure so I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna talk about it so I can stop being insecure I don't have a bra on right now and I just feel like my nipples are doing their own thing. I apologize, but I'm just gonna talk about it so I can stop feeling insecure about it and feel like I'm gonna get a comment. <laughs> so I've been trying to find something uh, throughout the week, like mother hours, but the only issue is, is that I have a very hard time working for somebody else. And it's not that I'm a difficult worker, like I'll take orders, I don't talk back to my bosses but I don't like being bossed around. I don't like the idea of like, I'm just there grinding away just to make big bosses money. I don't like working corporate. I've known this since high school when everybody was filling out like their college applications and stuff and everybody was so concerned about what they were gonna do outside of high school. I'm like, I don't know. I know I wanna be a mom. <laughs> like I know I'd be pretty down to be a housewife and I just, I also just wanted to own my own business, but I felt like it was so, like the feminist movement was kind of like bad, 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 bad. You should not want a man to take care of you. And I'm like, yeah, but I kind of do, but not in like a, it, it's a give and a take, you know, if, um, you know, he would support me one way, I support him another way. And it just goes for the, everybody's happy. Everybody's in love, everybody's happy, everybody's copacetic, right? Um, well, because of the economy and the way that it is, uh, <laughs> it's been very difficult. And so I so desperately am still trying to get content creation to work out um, to the point where I can make it a full-time thing. Y'all, at this point, like, you guys know I love you because if I was just here to make a job out of it, I would have been gone 10 years ago. I'm going on what over 15 years my my first youtube video was what in 2007 if i have not been able to make a job out of this yet i am either way more boring than i ever thought that i was or i truly love it i love chatting with you guys and i felt like i was missing it a bit not having a vlogging camera so i'm glad i got my gopro up and running and we're good to go and chat i'll kind of show you as i go i guess i did some of it. I'm unboxing just groceries. I want to try to film two TikToks. I haven't done it in a long time. Um, I, I want to do it with like a Laura Croft thing. I kind of want to see if I can make that Laura Croft cosplay like my niche on TikTok. I'm always trying different things on that platform. Um, so I'm going to try that tonight. Film two videos, but I need to be unready for part of the video. So that's why we're waiting. I've also been considering introducing reaction videos to my channel. Now you've seen me do some like swimwear and lingerie stuff. Truthfully, I want that kind of content in my hauls and more fashion and beauty to be on um, my second channel. And on this channel, I want to be more focused on just like my day-to-day -day life, like me looking slumpy sometimes and just chatting with you or 
showing you uh, the beans that I got from the grocery store kind of thing. But I'm kind of also testing the waters on this channel, how those videos are even going to do. So right now I've been posting a little bit of a difference, but I've been posting like the try on videos on this channel and my second channel. But honestly, I, I, I'm filming a haul for the spring. That one's just gonna be on my second channel. So this channel is still mostly like lifestyle and stuff. However, it's also really difficult because when I was first introducing my kids into my vlogs when I was pregnant with the pregnancy diaries and then even through their birth and you know up until probably like last year or so, my kids were in my videos a lot and I loved it. It was something we actually really bonded over. But now, like, I feel like once in a while, you know, they pop in the video. Like, I'm not going to just be like, you know, I don't want to see a face gather. Like, you might see them once in a while in my videos. But I'm trying to make it a point to not put them in as often anymore. And not because I don't want to, but because I'm trying to protect them. And I also don't want people getting the impression that I am trying to market off my kids like make money off my kids like they, this is my channel um they're just obviously a huge part of my life my daughter and i have had discussions where she wants to start her own youtube channel and i said sure but i want you to be old enough so it's not like i i am um against it or anything i've just kind of been like so i'm kind of all over the place with that so like i'm not dragging them necessarily on camera but once in a while, I guess they'll be in my videos. So I'm just, I wasn't sure what uh, direction I really wanted to go with my content. But I, again, we're still going to be doing the vlogging and stuff tomorrow. Um, my shift is over today. Tomorrow, we're going to go out and do some more ship shopping. But I think, again, I want to start doing maybe some reaction videos just to break up the content a little bit more. Again, hauls will be probably on my second channel. Uh, makeup tutorials I'm still posting I was doing that 365 days of makeup challenge did I hate myself because you guys there were some days that I uh, did not go to sleep until two or three in the morning because I needed to film edit upload and get a video out every single day and at first it was fun and like a challenge obviously but very quickly I started losing sleep I desperately needed uh, like it was becoming not fun very quickly and I did not want to lose um, a, my my enjoyment of doing makeup so that's why I stopped doing every single day but I still have tons of videos I'm gonna be posting that I filmed and just haven't gotten to yet uh, and I'll be filming more in the future. So the channel needs to evolve. I need to evolve with my audience. So we're just kind of testing things. Vlogs, that has always kind of been my thing for a long time. It was the one thing I've kind of stuck with on here. Everything else is kind of like whatever I'm sort of feeling like. Again, kicking up the second channel again. I'm trying to break up a little bit more of like the fashion haul content versus lifestyle. But other than that it's kind of really a mush because i don't really know how to organize it in the most sense anyways we got some fruit mom what give me a baby bottle pop very nice what get the big watermelon yucky yeah we got a watermelon for dinner yeah oh, so i'm gonna make some um that was really heavy <laughs> homemade mashed potatoes some watermelon tonight i got some I got some corn on the cob. Even the big corn. I'm not the egg watermelon. I got some corn on the cob, so I gotta get this stuff on the stove because some of this takes a little while to cook. I'm definitely missing stuff from here. I did like a Walmart pickup grocery. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a frosting. And I have the cake mix, but not the frosting. I was gonna make cake pops. Shoot. Um. I don't. Crap. Because I put no substitutions, but I didn't think they'd be out of that. Well, shoot. I'm gonna have to make those tomorrow. So we're gonna make cake pops tonight, but we're gonna have to wait on those. Very cool. It's almost done. It's 
Baby bottle. Oh, baby bottle. The baby bottle pop. Oh my gosh. Baby bottle pop. Alright, this. Why did. I hate my stove so much. It is a propane powered stove or gas stove. Oh, baby, he wants to show you the baby bottle pop he's working on. <laughs> I wish I had an electric stove, to be honest, because it sucks up propane like no tomorrow. So I'm very hesitant on what I bake, and I love baking so much. And tell me what the heck is going on here. There's a light. I love baking so much, but I'm so hesitant to all the time because it sucks up so much propane. So, to kind of help with that, not use my stove constantly, I had gotten a skillet. Only problem is, I dropped that skillet a couple times. So, <laughs> there's a risk of like dropping boiling water on me because that's the handle and there's really no handle. Um, so, it still technically heats up, so I do use it when I need uh, a little more space like today because I have the potatoes and the corn but I bought this one recently it just came in the mail a couple days ago love it it's from green life uh, honestly honestly I got mine from walmart.com I think they had it in blue too probably your standard neutrals as well um, maybe at least a white or a black if you don't like the colored ones but it works phenomenally um, so I'm gonna, I have to chuck my corn and I need to peel my potatoes. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna fill both of these up with water. Got a new gazebo outside because ours blew away. I'll show you all of outside a little later. It's starting to get dark, so maybe I'll show you tomorrow and just focus today on our makeup and stuff. But anyways, let me get some water in here. Oh God, oh God, okay. It works. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to use the little bowl to prop up one of the legs. Ah. Uh, that bowl's too big. Hold on. Uh, so you can see how that could be a problem uh, with boiling water. So that that's why when I'm cooking, the kids stay out of the kitchen. Just in case, I don't want anybody getting burned. So both of my water is starting to boil. I just used aluminum foil on that one because I, when I drop it, it broke the uh, <laughs> lid too. So that's gonna help it boil. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna get the corn as clean as possible. Just grab myself a plate. And then, and then I just have a bag of rusted potatoes. I'll probably do like, I don't know, five or like six. I don't know. They're not that big of potatoes. So maybe like six potatoes for me and the kids. They don't eat that much. So I don't want to go to waste. I just ran into a small problem. The chicken I was going to use is still frozen. So I do have ground beef though, but I did not, like I don't have time to make like a whole meatloaf or something. I can do something like burgers but I also don't have buns. But we got mashed potatoes and corn, right? Like if it just cut up little like burger bits, you know what I mean? Melt some cheese on top. Who needs a bun? It's fine, but we gotta make some burgers real quick. And hopefully I have everything I need for it. I think I do. Before I deal with my protein, I need to get these potatoes peeled, cut up and ready to go once our water is ready. Uh, I'll put this away for now. Honestly, that's more than enough. I'm gonna eat more than both these kids combined, so. And if there's not enough, then I'll just make something else for myself. But I think this will be good. Problem is, I have so much stuff on the counter that just doesn't need to be there. Like this tanning oil, which by the way, I'm going to be trying to use. I wanna come back and let you guys know how it goes. This is my second time using it. It's extremely thick like molasses, but I don't know. We'll see how it is. Mom, did you have fun? Did I have fun? Yeah. 
You are have fun. <laughs> Am I? I have fun. Well, I'm glad you had fun today. You have a good day? Look. What is that? It's a potato. Potatoes? Potato. Look, it's an apple and potato. Potato, you keep banging your head. You okay? You okay? Pop, hey, pop, making dinner. Pop, pop. Potato. Potato. I'm not going to chop these up any particular way. I just want them small enough that they cook faster just because I'm a little more crunched on time. Otherwise, you could literally just throw them in whole. My smaller skillet, I'm going to put the potatoes in. Okay. I'm hoping they'll only take like 20 minutes to a half hour to soften up enough for me to mash them. But it's going to be that simple. We're just going to throw one in here and just wait for them to get nice and tender. I'm going to do my beef last pretty much because hamburgers really don't take that long to make. So that's going and then back here I have this boiling as well and I actually like to throw in a little bit of sugar into my boiling water Oop. okay well I'm gonna make the corn nice and sweet so I'm gonna let that do its thing we will throw in the corn Okay, we're just gonna check on those every like 10 minutes or so. All right, time for the hamburger. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot a potato. Truthfully, I don't even think I needed this bowl of water because the water was all ready to go by the time that I chopped them up, so it's fine. Honestly, I'll reuse it to make the hamburger. In you go. That was the most ridiculous way that I could possibly open this. One tablespoon of wash your sister sauce. One tablespoon of ketchup. And I'm not making any more dishes for myself than I have to. We need a teaspoon of salt. And this is a quarter teaspoon. So that's why I'm putting four in here. I've never seen olive oil. I'm, I'm following, I always forget for some reason like how much of everything needs to go in here. Um, two tablespoons of olive oil. I knew I had some, I was going crazy for a second. Two tablespoons, really? <laughs> Hunter, really, in the background. <laughs> uh, that's all it says, so let me wash my hands and we're gonna mix it up. I'm just realizing though that recipe was real basic like there was no onion powder garlic powder or nothing in there so um what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to throw those spices in my potatoes and make those a little more flavorful because uh, the kids take it with ketchup anyway so uh, at least it has some salt i skipped out on pepper because they're not a big fan of that kick just yet they're still young so um yeah i'm gonna let everything cook it's gonna take all a little while and then i will show you guys our meals my burgers are on um my potatoes 
are just about done as well as my corn they got like five minutes left i'm gonna make the we like ours um medium rare a little pink on the inside but i gotta throw you guys on the charger because you're about to die Unplug it. Now I'm trying not to overcook my beef because my first couple burgers were a little more well done than I initially wanted. My potatoes have paper in it. Okay, get some butter I'm melting. And these potatoes, I wish I had a bigger bowl, but I don't right now. Maybe like another minute and those <clears throat> will be done. They're cooking over there as I'm running out of room. I'm going to let this butter melt for just a minute. I'm almost completely out of my cutting board too. But I'm going to grab, oh, my battery's going to die, a corn. And I'm going to cut it in half for the kids. I need four, so there's plenty to go around, but just to start... And then I have these little corn holders, which are awesome for the little ones. Even my daughter, who's almost 10, it just helps not to burn. Hell, I use them. Um, but once I have it like that, I have a little bit of butter on this plate. I'm just going to roll the corn burger. should be just about done. And then once it is buttered, I'm going to take just a little bit of garlic salt I decided on. Sprinkle a little bit on top. The butter will help it stick. Is my dishwasher like not working? What the heck? Okay, I have so many dishes now. Corn. Oh my gosh, corn. Each watermelon. 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 These are all a little more well done than I initially wanted them to be, but they're still, they're well cooked. Like they're not, nothing's wrong with them. I just wanted a little more pink in it, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna, well, I have to butter, I have to butter my corn still. So I'm going to keep that for a minute. Um, just grab some regular table salt. I'm only rushing again because my battery is about to die. So <clears throat> you might miss the very end of this plating, but it's fine. I have an absolute mess. I am sorry. I am not the type of person that can clean as I go. I try. I'm just not. <laughs> it drives some people bonkers. Oh my gosh. Uh, the plant <laughs> it drives some people bonkers i'm sorry okay, just a little bit of milk sometimes i use heavy cream if i have it just because it makes it a little bit like thicker <clears throat> potato i really like whipped potatoes just, if i do this on the table the camera is gonna go crazy so but you get the idea everything is plated but the potatoes i just want to make sure yeah, you're good. Okay, here we go. I just want to step outside for a second and show you guys. We have been doing so much work. It is not done. I wish it was done, but it's not. I'm going to show you the progress that we've, that we've made. Um, I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> I've done a lot of gardening. I'm just going to show you from here. I'm going to wait for a nice day this week to like actually go out into the yard. But we added new stairs to the side and you can kind of see over here two garden beds going um, they do have labels again I'll show you all of that on a nicer day we've been chipping away at it but it's been so rainy and we only have so many days off um, I also got this nice little setup uh, it's kind of a mess at the moment I was coming out here I hung up a clock oh that thing over there that's pretty cool behind here I spray painted a bunch of um, they're literally dollar store like window boxes i just spray painted them gold because i want to put strawberries back there 
Uh, and then this thing, so it's like a DIY, um, you know those like vertical garden things? So it was a long shoe holder I got from Target. I cut it in half, secured it to the wall, <laughs> um, filled it with dirt and a whole bunch of seeds. And I'm hoping that we'll get some sprouts pretty soon. Honestly, it's only been a day or two, so I don't think there's anything in there yet. It's still a little early, but I also have I have wildflowers in there, wildflowers in there growing. I also ended up getting this greenhouse. We have a strawberry plant in there. Um, again, I'll show you all of this. Ouch. I'll show you all of this when it's not raining, just because there is so much work. Also, the patio down here, and that's where the gazebo is going to sit. So there's been a lot of work behind the scenes. So here's the deal. I am tired. <laughs> um, it's 8.30 at night now, and I would, I, I hate, I really do, I hate wasting my makeup on um like if i do all my makeup right now which the like go cosplay for laura Craft croft it's just like an everyday makeup look i do but i don't want to waste my product at all so what i'm gonna do is just wake up early tomorrow and do my makeup for the whole day like if i know i'm gonna be filming like i'll get ready early in the day today i just i it was rainy it was cruddy i didn't think i'd even be vlogging today um i was just doing deliveries and even with the crappy weather it wasn't that busy which was surprising so i went tanning uh, and just gave my face a break from makeup but like tomorrow if i know that i'm going to be filming then I would rather do my makeup in the morning and actually be able to wear it all day uh, and not just for a couple hours at night. So I'm thinking tomorrow um, I'm going to at least do some of those Laura Croft cosplay TikToks. I was uh, sort of alluding to um, there's a couple sounds I've saved in favorites as well as something reaction wise, whether it's like a story on reddit like one of those am i an a-hole reddit story reactions or a tiktok or my strange addiction or something of the sort um i want to try to record something of uh, something like that and get it up on this channel and just see how you guys like it see how uh you do how it does <laughs> for now i'm gonna call it quits because guys do you want to see something for a sec <laughs> there's a whole load in the dishwasher right now i just did my strainer which toppled over into my sink which luckily i had cleaned out <laughs> before it happened so i just have to like push it all up but all that stuff was leaning onto on another like i had so many dishes from dinner and i have a full load of laundry waiting for me downstairs so i think i'm just gonna curl up maybe with a blanket get some laundry put away uh, call it a night because I am just I'm very tired truthfully it's not going to be good content if I try to film come back tomorrow fresh faced ready to go uh, and then we'll, we'll see what tomorrow brings us I still want to bring you guys ship shopping with me tomorrow it's been a little while so I figured why not um, so we'll have a little bit to do tomorrow regardless of what I end up getting filmed but thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please leave a thumbs up really does help my channel you guys have no idea like i'll see you guys pass by and i just don't know if you just genuinely don't like the content or if you're kind of like me where i'm just kind of a silent viewer uh but it is appreciated if you decide to leave one so i feel like if i say it it kind of gets me i hate saying it i hate saying it i hate saying it but sometimes it does remind love you i'll see you in my next one